Yo, what's going on guys? Happy Halloween. I hope you all uh, have fun celebrating, or if you don't celebrate and just stay home or whatever, I hope you're cool with that too. Uh, I don't really know if I have any plans this Halloween. I may or may not go trick-or-treating, uh, but if I do, I'm going dressed as the Chris Pratt, as you know, starring the new Super Mario Brothers movie, uh, which is a really odd ch selection, but you know, we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, I actually, the costume is pretty epic, so I took a picture of Chris Pratt, I photoshopped Mario's nose and mustache onto it, and I taped that to my face. And then, I put on this Mario onesie pajama thingy that I found a while, like a couple weeks ago while cleaning my room, and uh, that's my Halloween costume, it's kind of pathetic, but you know, it's like... A, I'm not going to put too much effort into having a good Halloween costume because I'm kind of old for Halloween. Like, like I know it's, like, kind of weird to have, like, a gang of teenagers just going around collecting candy. But, like, you know, I might go out with my friends. Uh, I don't know what, what age I'm supposed to stop trick-or-treating, but I think it'd be funny to have, like, a 30-year-old man just walking around the houses with just, like, a group of people, like, asking for candy. And then the people are like... Why don't you just buy your own candy? Like, you have a job. But, it's like, it's it's not about just getting candy. It's about the experience of walking for, like, five hours. And then uh, having the selection. Because, you see, whenever someone has their house and it's, like, they have the bowl of candy, you have to make a choice, okay? And it completely determines the entirety of your personality. And that is which candy are you going to pick? Now, some of my personal favorites are Twix, Snickers. I'm a huge fan of just like Skittles. There's some very classic ones. But, you know, I remember my favorite candy of all time. I don't think I've ever, like rarely ever seen it actually show up. I think I already looted this. Oh, wait, no. I think I've rarely ever seen it actually show up at people's houses. And that is the Rolo, like, little candy gumdrop things. I don't know what to call it. Basically, what it is, is it's a thing of caramel. And it's like a thing of chocolate. It's like a little chocolate thing. And it's filled with caramel. And it's amazing. Now, I, ha I remember uh, some stores, they sell, like, bags of them. And, uh, and they are perhaps the greatest thing to ever purchase. Now, if... And they also sell them in, like, rolls, which is why they're called a Rolo. Uh, very, very clever. Uh, but it's just a shame that not a lot of houses uh, actually give them out for candy. Uh, one of my teachers, it was, we, it was, like, a question. We had to go around and say our favorite Halloween candy. And I said mine was the Rolo. And she was like, she was like, are you going, like, to grandparents, your grandparents' house to trick-or-treat? Because, like, no one gives out Rolos anymore. I'm like, I know, it's super sad. One of the best candies of I don't think I can get that. One of the best candies of all time. And it's just... No one gives it out anymore. It's annoying. But, you know, it's whatever. If I want Rolos, I can just buy them myself. But it ruins the spirit of Halloween, you know? Uh, I don't have many crazy Halloween stories. I remember two years ago... Oh, was there a thing up? I don't know. I remember two years ago, I was out trick-or-treating with my friends. And there was this weird, like, dude in, like, his mid-40s who was, like, going around, like, like, I, I was joking when I said, like, a dude in his mid-30s just, like, going around getting candy, but this dude was actually going around, and see, the really weird thing was he was going around, and he was, oh, I won. GG's. So, anyways, this, like, weird, creepy old dude was following us around, like, not, like, right behind us, but, like, just enough, like, a solid, like, 50 feet away. And we were taking, like, weird turns and stuff. We were turning around, looping back. He just kept following us, which was, you know, kind of odd. So what we decided to do was we decided to take a turn and then just book it. So we ran a couple blocks away. And then we were hiding behind this one person's bushes. And we managed to escape him. But, like, I don't know what he was thinking following us around because, you know, we were, like... We're like a bunch of like 15, 16 year old kids. I don't know what if you think he could take us on. You know, I'm a, a bit of a professional fighter myself. You know, I'm a, I think purple belt 
green belt in karate or something. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, oh my gosh, someone's taking my candy. This is unacceptable. Uh, I'll go this way. But yeah, we ditched him. We were tempted to call the pol- Oh my gosh, was that? There's so much candy there, I actually want to go get that. Uh, we were tempted to call the police, but like we managed to like lose him. So we were like, eh, whatever. And then, and then he ended up following this like huge group of like kids and parents. So maybe he was just lost and trying to find its way back. But you know, I, I still think it's a somewhat creepy story. I guess aside from that, not really much has happened on Halloween for me. I remember the one time, there was one time I was trick or treating and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like doing this anymore. So I just went home. Because I had, like, a pretty solid amount of candy. Now, I think for trick-or-treating, having, like, anywhere from 100 to 200 pieces is, like, a pretty good haul. And it'll last me for a while because I don't, like, guzzle my candy down. You know, I ration it. And I always try to, like, proportion it so I'm always eating, like, different types of candy. Like, I'm not going to eat, like, back-to-back, like, all the same types. Because then, it, like, you get, you lose all, all the, like, the good f- flavors too quickly and then you're stuck with like the ones that no one cares about like I don't want to eat actually no I don't I don't really know candy I did oh butterfingers butterfingers are a terrible candy you will not catch me eating them I don't really like them just not a huge fan okay new cosmetics that's that's lovely I do not care yeah butterfingers are just like weird they they, they have a terrible texture uh, I'm, I just don't like them. Now, Reese's are another one that I, I love and I always prioritize because, like, they're, they're very, like, a lot of houses give them out, so, like, I'll have a bunch of them, so I can normally eat, like, quite a few of those, but, you know, uh, it's always really nice, though, like, some houses, they give away, like, the big, like, king-size candy bars. Now, I know a couple houses around the area where they give out, like, big candy bars, and I definitely plan on maybe at least going to those so I can get, like, the good, the good, like, I don't know. Like, the like there's a bunch of houses that, like, cheap out, and they'll, they're like, oh, take one, please, of, like, the really small candy bars. Now, I don't know if you know this, but, like, the the bowls that people leave outside their houses, those papers are a mere suggestion, like, there's no, there's no, like, person sitting there, like, handing out the candy, like, mandating how much each person gets. No, if I want to take, like, maybe one or two extra, I'm going to take one or two extra because, you know, I feel as though I deserve it. Because, you know, I'm walking out here slaving away trying to get all this candy. I'm going to take as much as I want, you know. I'm not going to let some sign say what I can and can't do. And I got first place. A very close game on that one. Oh, I could have... Uh, if I turned around. So basically, whenever you go to a house and they have a bowl and it's like, please take one. Just remember, you don't have to take one. You can take like five, but like any more than that, a bit too much. So don't try to get overly ambitious because, you know, remember there are more people that will be uh, taking candy. So, you know, you don't want to get too greedy. But remember, uh, j- be just greedy enough. But never get too greedy. That's the my lesson for today. Halloween etiquette. Uh, you could if it if there's a take one bowl and you take more than five, I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to kill you. There's no, no nothing else that can be done. Uh, the Halloween police will come after you, will hunt you down, and will execute you because uh, that's what we do. So yeah, make sure you don't take too much candy. Now there are some bowls that would be like, oh, take like three or four, or like some people handing out. It's like I'll take more, especially later into the night. Like the later into the night, you get people just like, I want to get rid of this candy, which doesn't make any sense. Because if I was handing out candy, I'd want to keep as much as I possibly could. I'd be like, no, I'm giving one per person. That's it. The rest of this candy belongs to me. So yeah, but it's actually really funny because one time, uh, like like bowls are obviously the easy target of uh like, Halloween trick-or-treaters to just, like, abuse and just, like, take away more than they can. Sometimes even take the whole bowl. I think the the alpha move would be actually to not take any of the candy and just take the bowl itself. So when the person comes back from trick-or-treating or they go to look outside, they just see a bunch of candy lying in a pile on the ground, which I think would be hilarious. So 
I've never taken a bowl yet, but I think that'd be a very funny prank to just pull on people, just take all their bowls and be like, wow, I had such a successful Halloween, even though I literally got no candy. But uh, that, that, you know, I, I feel like I want the candy out of the bowls, you know, I don't want the solid piece of plastic, which, you know, some people actually have some really, like, fancy, like, really cool bowls. I know I have this one bowl, and basically there's, like, a fake hand on the bottom. And what you can do is you can stick your hand inside this, like, glove, and it, like, blend, like, if you put a bunch of candy in, it, like, blends in, and then when people try to take candy, you reach out with the hand, and it's super funny, you know, very, very, uh, spooky, I don't know where I got it from, I just remember having it, am I in the top left? I don't know where I am, which is a slight problem, because, you know, I should probably be more focused. Oh, I'm in the bottom left. But yeah, I, also there was this one house that had, I remember I went to, it had a coffin. And what you had to do is you had to knock on the coffin and this person would open the coffin door and they would, they had a bowl of candy and they'd give you candy. And I'm like, wow, this is so cool. But you know, that person also had to sit inside that coffin for little like hours which, you know, probably not the most fun thing to do. Kind of just sitting there pretty boring. Which is also why I give mad respect to the people that just sit there and hand out the candy themselves. Because it's like, you really don't have to. You can kind of just, like, leave a bowl out. But then again, there's the risk that people, like, take it. Which is why I think the true trick-or-treating play is to have, like, just be standing at the... They're like, be near the door, and then when people ring the doorbell, you get the bowl of candy, which is really the true Halloween experience in a nutshell. You know, kind of the basis of what the whole trick-or-treating... I'm rambling. I don't know what else to talk about. Let me just win this game, and GG's. Another for, did I get an achievement? Brave of the Dark win five games. Yeah, I haven't played this much. You know, it's kind of eh. It's really just like, you know, it's pretty fun. Pass the time, you know. No, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna be playing another. Uh, anyways, this was another uh, very spooky video. Uh, I don't know what to say here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to follow by the fo limit of five candy per person rule that I have. I've placed, or I, I will find you. I know where you live. And I will track you down. Yes, this is a threat. Make sure to not take too much candy. Save some for other people. Uh, make sure you check your candy by breaking it in half before you eat it. Just to be safe. You know, there's some crazy people out there. Uh, what else? Don't open, don't eat any opened candy. Um, make sure you either stay in a group or don't go trick-or-treating too late. Especially around some sketchy neighborhoods, and yeah, thanks you, thank you for listening to my uh, TED talk on Halloween advice. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.